Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, the tales of Texas are always grandiose. And when it comes to some of the historic cemeteries in our state, there is usually an interesting story to be told. Well, that's exactly the case in the tiny town of Tilden, where there's a cemetery in the middle of the city that has a lot of lore for those laid to rest. The landscape of McMullen County is what you'd expect in South Texas. Desolate land covered in mesquite, brush, and the occasional cactus. Tilden is the county seat of this sparse part of our state, and it happens to be the fifth least populated county in Texas. The population's about 800. The whole county? In the whole county. Wow. Yes, that's correct. You're not kidding, there aren't a lot of No, anywhere. there's not, and about 1,160 square miles, so. Wow. It's a big county with few, few people. James Edward Teal knows this area well, being a fifth generation Texan to be raised in this rustic region. John Albert Teal, he was my great great grandfather. He was born in 1810 in wow. uh, Natchitoches, Louisiana. Okay. And uh, moved here in the 1870s. Had nine children, brought his nine children here. Wow. And so some of the pioneer folks in McMullen County. Can you imagine what this place was like back then? Oh, it was the Wild West. Since 2010, James has served as the county judge. Every ounce of soil that's in this county, I have a, have a huge fondness for. That includes the old cemetery. That happens to be right outside his office in the center of town. Any special memories here? Is this where y'all used to come in a party back in the day? No, no. More we, desolate places for yeah, that. Yeah, there were plenty of other places to go. <laughs> Contrary to most historic cemeteries, this graveyard isn't very grandiose, or really even of great notoriety. It has changed so much over the years, this was just virtually pasture, you know. Was there even a road? That highway wasn't put in until the 30s or 40s. Oh wow. The way I understand it is that it was just a, kind of a Wild West type cemetery. It's just weird to see a cemetery right behind a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Established in 1858. The Boot Hill Cemetery sits silently, with the South Texas sun casting long shadows, while the breeze blows through the few remaining remnants. Here, buzzards fittingly find a place to rest. It's sort of an odd sight, considering the town has grown around it. McMullen County and Tilden especially were, were on a trade route from San Antonio to Laredo, and a lot of shady characters came around, and there were a lot of uh, people that were killed under mysterious circumstances or by, by murder. Why is it called Boot Hill Cemetery? The story that I was always told is because the men died with their boots on. So this is the list of people buried here? Yes. Wow. Some of, the, some of them that we know about. Gunfight, cholera, murder. Seems like uh, your average method of passing away back in the 1800s. That's right. A lot of them were killed on the streets. And one of them killed because he was wearing a top hat. And a guy thought that he could uh, shoot a hole in the top hat. And he uh, ended up uh, shooting the guy in his tracks and killing him. He'd had a little too much to drink. So that's the story that, that floated around here anyway. <laughs> Well, they didn't even know the guy he killed. Unknown, killed Unknown. unintentionally. Unintentionally. Yeah. I did not mean to kill you when we <laughs> de decided to play, put a hole in the hat. That's right. <laughs> that was very unintentional. <laughs> Assassinations, gun battles, being thrown from a horse. These were the ways of the West way back when. So these were peaceful endings. <laughs> <laughs> Not so peaceful, Andy. How do you know the wooden crosses are A in the right place and with the right names on them? We have no idea. Really? No, they were erected there in memoriam. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Then there's a few more typical looking places where folks were laid to rest. So is this the uh, dead giveaway that this was a cemetery at one point? Or? This <laughs> dead giveaway? <laughs> yes. The more established grave sites are obvious for a reason. What I've been told over my lifetime is that these graves that are covered with concrete and rock were actually graves of people that had died of cholera. And uh, the residents were deathly afraid of the spread of cholera, so they covered the graves in hopes that uh, cholera wouldn't leach through the ground. Well, Jim, this is the most pronounced grave in the gravesite, I would say. Yes. Very different from the rest. Yes. This young man died in a horse horseback accident. He'd fallen off a horse and uh, whenever news got back to his family, his family actually shipped this wrought iron fence and the granite covering. Young man's name was Greer. I think he was 
25 years old or so when he passed and so uh, this is a permanent 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 monument that his uh, family set up for him and it's been in this uh, been right here of course since he was buried 1874 mm -hmm. these were guys that were forging ahead to try to find a better way of life or or running from something probably yeah now in their eternal rest these pioneers have put Tilden on the map in a unique way by kicking the bucket with their boots. You ever sit here and wonder what the stories of these people were? I mean, absolutely, yes. It'd be very, very interesting to know what the real truth is and if, how accurate our, our stories have been passed down. And, you know, it'd, it'd be great to know that. Mm -hmm.